What is going on, guys? Grave here. Today, I'd like to talk about some of the big games coming out this year in 2021. I'm not going to go over every single game, but we're going to talk about some of the games, some of the dates, if they have dates, so you guys can kind of get an idea of when these games are going to be released. I know not everyone has time to keep up with all this stuff. Games get delayed, dates get changed, that kind of thing. So I'm going to talk about some of these. Before I get into it, be sure if you're not subscribed to hit the subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. And if you enjoy the content, hit the like button and check out everything down in the description below. Uh, kind of getting started with this, I'm not sure they have not released if these games are going to be on all platforms, old gen and new gen. If you're like myself, you're still probably frustrated you cannot find a new gen console. So I'm sure a lot of you are curious, kind of like I am. You know, If you're not able to find one in the coming months, will you be able to play some of these games on old gen? I would assume so, but all that information has not been released yet. Some of these games don't even have dates, official dates. They just have, you know, kind of time frames of when they're supposed to be released. So let's go ahead and get into the kind of uh, list of really anticipated games. You know, this is a, a games list of, of games that people are really looking forward to playing. One thing that is coming out that a lot of people like to play is Hitman. That actually does come out this month. Hitman 3 comes out January the 20th in just a few days. We do know that's going to be on all platforms, old gen, new gen, Switch, Stadia, and PC. Another big game coming out this year, if you are a fan of the Switch, of course, is Super Mario 3D World, uh, a new one that is Bowers Fury. That's going to come out February the 12th. Uh, some other games that are pretty anticipated this year, uh, Monster Hunter Rise. That's going to be a Nintendo Switch exclusive. That's going to be out on March the 26th. Uh, another game, Deathloop, which was kind of shown off during the kind of show we had, uh, you know, back when back in the summer when new gen consoles were being released and they kind of had to do their shows from home, just kind of online. Death Loot was one of the games shown. It's going to be on PS5 and PC. Nothing listed about PS4 on that, so I'm assuming that's going to be a new gen only game, and that is out on May the 21st. Far Cry 6 uh, release date is right now a, a tentative release date of May the 25th. A lot of people love Far Cry. Uh, the last few, in my opinion, have not been that great. So Far Cry 6 could be really, really good. Back for Blood, which is the creators of Left for Dead. This is one really anticipated game, and it does say that it's going to come out on old gen and new gen and PC, of course. And its tentative release date is June the 22nd. Uh, some other things a lot of people are looking forward to, of course, is Gran Turismo 7. Gran Turismo used to be one of the biggest racing games uh, probably made. And, of course, there's been a lot of things that's come out since then. Forza and things have kind of taken that top spot. So Gran Turismo 7, which is going to come out in the first half of 2021. And right now it has it listed, of course, as only on PS5 because that is usually just a PlayStation title. Now, we do have some uh, a little bit of info about a new Battlefield game coming out in 2021. Platforms still have not been announced. And the other thing that is interesting, of course, is there's been a lot of rumors saying this only going to be on new gen, but we do know it's going to come out in holiday of 2021. So by that point, the majority of us that want new gen consoles hopefully will have one. So if it is on a new gen console only, that won't be a big deal. Halo Infinite, of course, which is Xbox Series X, S, Xbox One, and PC, has been delayed until the fall of 2021. That was supposed to be a game that's going to come out, you know, when the Xbox Series S and X were released. That did not happen. I know Microsoft was probably upset with that. And I know a lot of people are looking forward to it. Uh, that used to be one of my favorite games to play. Before I got into playing Call of Duty, uh, before I played COD 4, Halo was the thing that I always played. And over the years, I, I've kind of lost interest in Halo. Halo 4 was the last Halo that I played, and I really did not like it. Uh, the older Halo games that Bungie made were my favorites. Now that 343 has taken over, I was not really impressed with what they have done, just personally. Uh, now, I will say Halo Infinite does look kind of like it's going back to the roots of how Halo used to play. So I was kind of interested in this game. I was interested to see how it did. You know, of course, you know, I was not sure at the time, you know, if I was going to be able to find new gen consoles. Usually I always buy both consoles. It seems like this year I'm going to just kind of have to go with the PS5 for now. And maybe hopefully later I can buy an Xbox. Who knows what's going to go on with that. But uh, right now we all know how hard it is to find any console whatsoever. So I'm kind of hoping by the time it comes out, if it is really good, if it does, you know, get some good kind of, you know, coverage and if a lot of people are enjoying it, I may have to pick that up. There is a Lord of the Rings game coming out, Lord of the Rings Gollum. The release date is late 2021, and that is on all uh, platforms as well. No official release date for GTA 6 yet. We just know there's rumors out there, but we do know sometime in the second half of 2021, 
the next gen version of GTA 5 will be coming out. And of course, that's going to be only on PS5 and Xbox Series S. Of course, Horizon Forbidden West, a game that a lot of people are looking forward to. Uh, it shows right now to be on PS4 and PS5 in the second half of 2021 as well. And one other game that I want to touch on really quickly, and I know there's a lot of other games out there coming out, but God of War Ragnarok does have a release date of 2021 listed. Of course, that's going to only be on PS5. And last but not least, one game that a lot of people were looking forward to that was shown off during kind of the PS5 uh, kind of showcase when they did the thing back in the summer showing off the PS5, and that was the game Hogwarts Legacy. It was going to be kind of a Harry Potter RPG style game that was going to be on all platforms, old gen and new gen. That was supposed to come out this spring. That has now been delayed until 2022 no time frame on when 20 when in 2022 that will be released anyway guys like i said this is not a full list of every game coming out this year but it's kind of a, game, a list of some big games coming out leave me a comment let me know what games you're looking forward to uh let me know if you found a new gen console yet i know a lot of people are still looking for those and of course if you enjoyed the content here on the channel hit the like button and i'll catch you all next time peace